How wonderful person. So, what if Jupiter didn't actually exist? And even better, why is it that other stars have exoplanets that are completely different from Jupiter? They're hot and very, very close to their stars. I was wondering about this and I actually started exploring this topic in a little bit more detail and today you're going to find out what I've discovered. So welcome to What The Man. And we're going to start by exploring this mysterious, beautiful and absolutely wonderful planet right here that I've talked about about a year ago, known as 51 Pegasi b. This is actually the first uh, exoplanet discovered around a main sequence star, and specifically a star very, very similar to our own sun. Now, it doesn't really look anything like what we have in our own solar system, but it actually is, in essence, very, very similar to Jupiter both in mass and also in structure. It even seems to have water around it. But the only difference is that it's very, 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 very close to its parent star and it orbits around its parent star very fast. And because of this, it also has a lot of emissions, as you can see right here. Now, all of these things are very strange. Now, does that make this system strange or does it make ours? And it turns out Throughout the years, we kept discovering more and more of these planets. As a matter of fact, they have now formed what's known as hot Jupiters. These hot Jupiters seem to be like everywhere. Wherever you look, you'll find them in pretty much most uh, star systems around, well, really anywhere, our neighborhood, our galaxy. And it just so happens that our solar system doesn't have any, doesn't seem to have any of these planets. And this is where I realized, and I guess many other scientists realized, that it is actually our own solar system that's the weird one. As a matter of fact, there are a lot of weird things in our solar system that don't exist in other solar systems or star systems. And all of this led me to this question. So what if Jupiter didn't actually exist? Or what if it was different? Now, this by itself kind of leads you to answer the question of why our solar system is actually quite different. And we need to kind of imagine what solar system was like many, many years ago. So first of all, let's actually recreate the hypothetical solar system from like, I don't know, 100 million years after it was created. Um, so this is 4.4 billion years ago. We're going to place a few rudimentary planets here. So let's just place planet nine for fun. Uh, let's place some uh, really hot planets, get some hot Jupiters in here and a few other planets that are both hot and don't actually exist in our own solar system. And we're also going to place Jupiter, but this is actually where the mystery is. We don't really know where Jupiter was created. We know it was a lot closer and we now believe that Saturn actually pulled it farther uh, away from the sun. But let's just say we place it somewhere right here in the middle. This is actually where Mars would be. So this is basically, I guess, before the creation of Mars. Now, over time, if you run this long enough, what you're going to see is that because Jupiter is now a lot closer to the sun, it will actually start influencing the, these planets with quite a lot of effect. And also the sun gets influenced by everything as well. And so many of these planets will actually get uh, destabilized. Uh, their orbits will start changing. But before they got destabilized, these planets most likely existed in our solar system. So these hot Jupiters, these very hot um, Neptune-like planets and possibly even super Earths were all here. At least that's what we think. At least one of them most likely got kicked out uh, from the solar system and actually flew away because basically uh, the gravitational effects of Jupiter and other planets threw it out. And um, this is the so-called fifth missing planet that uh, kind of is officially supported nowadays by uh, most astronomers that study the creation of the solar system because without it, the creation of the solar system looks very, very different. So all the simulations people ran or scientists ran seem to suggest that there was a fifth planet. And on top of this, all of these other planets that we have here most likely also got disrupted by all of this, including, of course, the planet escaping and then either fell into the sun or 
possibly like planet 9 right here might have gotten kicked out to the outskirts of the solar system or i guess in this case it actually also got swallowed but because of those gravitational interactions a lot of these planets also did this they collided with each other there is actually a very interesting paper um, that i read a few weeks ago that suggested that many terrestrial planets if not all of the terrestrial planets in our solar system, that's of course being Earth, Mars, uh, Venus, and Mercury, were actually the result of these collisions between the early uh, Neptune-like objects that were very, very close to the Sun. And these collisions actually may have happened because Jupiter, that is still somewhere over there, a little bit closer to the Sun than it used to be, uh, basically disrupted their orbits. So not only did Jupiter kick out one of the gas giants, it also disrupted orbits of these uh, super Neptunes that then collided, created a lot of, lot of, lot of uh, different uh, protoplanetary material. And so basically this, a bunch of uh, terrestrial like objects, rocks and protoplanets, which then as they orbit around various regions of solar system, uh, combined into the planets that we have today. But I guess this goes back to the idea of Jupiter actually having a tremendous effect on the formation, evolution, and I guess the weirdness of our solar system. Many stars we discovered uh, that have exoplanets don't have things that we have. They don't really have the same sort of uh, planets. They don't really have even the similar sort of structure in terms of where those planets are. But Jupiter, because it's so massive, may have uh, reshaped our solar system to the way it is today. And following all this weirdness, craziness and collisions and basically Sun eating a lot of these uh, planets, uh, the other planet, the other massive planet, Saturn, then pulled Jupiter using its own gravity because it is quite massive as well, uh, farther apart. And so Jupiter then moved away and to the location where it is today. And so technically, if it really wasn't for Jupiter, our solar system would be completely different, but most importantly, our planet, Earth, would not actually exist today. And on top of that, if it wasn't for Jupiter, we would actually not exist either, because without Jupiter's super highly uh, gravitational attraction of things that fall from the outer solar system, we would have a lot more collisions on our planet. As a matter of fact, uh, the math behind it suggests that if it wasn't for Jupiter, we would be bombarded with a tremendous amount of comets and asteroids and so much stuff that life would very likely never have a chance to develop on our planet. So Jupiter, because of its extremely high gravitational strength, uh, either attracts those asteroids and basically they smack into Jupiter itself, or um, it even captures them. So many asteroids got captured by Jupiter's um, gravity and are now orbiting um, around it and or near it. And there's actually millions and millions of them that have been captured. So without Jupiter, our Earth would not exist and also life on Earth would not exist. In other words, the weirdness of our own solar system can be almost entirely attributed to this beautiful, giant and somewhat mysterious planet known as Jupiter. And so if it wasn't for this weirdo, you really wouldn't have YouTube right now. In other words, you wouldn't be watching this video and you wouldn't be subscribing to this channel, which you should be doing right now by clicking that subscribe button. Also, come back tomorrow to learn something else about the universe that you may have not known before and potentially support this channel on Patreon. Thank you for watching, wonderful people, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.